was sleeping for such a long time. Daddy, this way. This is not your daughter. Do you understand? Her name is Eleanor, and she is mine. Now, kneel, please. Remove your helmet. Place it against your head. Fire. Hey, what's going on guys? Here's my Bioshock 2 Let's Play. Finally got it started. Now it's been a while since I played this one too, so bear with me while I try to figure out 
the controls. They're slightly different. Now I'm allowed to melee with the B button. Which is good, because I couldn't do it in the other one. It was confusing the crap out of me. That was fail. Okay, I clearly hit that. <laughs> Fucking big sisters. Once again, I'm not gonna use the audio diaries. Do I have to fight someone already? Let's get some drill fluid here. Some oil. I think we have to go this way. 1540. Get as much stuff as we can get. Now in this game, you start out as a big daddy, obviously. I mean, you saw what happened. And you feel a lot more powerful than you ever did in the first one. Except for the end of the first one. Because by the end of the first one, you were just pretty much invincible. You saw all that money I had. It was like, hold on one second. She left this for me, apparently. Save her. Now these big sisters are assholes. All of them. I hate them. They take so long to kill, and eventually you have to fight like two or three of them at once. It sucks ass. The precious lamb of hold it. Dude, they don't stand a chance for this drill. This drill is awesome. It can take out a lot of stuff. You still have to fight other big daddies to steal their Adam or whatever from the little sisters. But this drill takes them out no problem for the most part. You might take damage while doing it, but you do more than they can do. Ah, at last a signal. You, who are bringing this dead city to life, listen. My name, it is Tannenbaum. I know who you are. And I am in much need of your help. Please, find me in the Atlantic Express train station. Pretty much scrounging for anything we can find at this point. Right in the beginning of the game, we don't have a lot. Now, I gotta remember how to heal. How do I do that? Okay, it's right on the D-pad. To heal and on this one I don't think you can just I don't think you can reload your Eve I think it does it automatically but what's nice about this game is that you have your uh, remember you are not alone think of me not as leader but as mother to the rapture family So like I was saying, oh yes, this is where we get the river gun. You have both your plasmid and your gun out at the same time, which helps a lot. And headshots are way easier to get on this game, because people aren't moving around like crazy bastards. See, like, he just stands there. And you remember the previous game, they're all hunched over and trying to run back and forth, trying to get out of the way. I don't think there's anything this way. This rivet gun is awesome. It helps a lot. 
I used it probably more than any other gun. Just because of the headshot capabilities of it. Uh, nothing there. I think there's a guy in here somewhere. Oh, I just got drunk on accident. Nothing. All right. <clears throat> More ammo. I think we're set. too it's like what do you even do against her man luckily this one you don't have to kill just keep shooting the hell out of her shit until she goes away there she goes I think yeah she's gone luckily because I'm out of ammo completely Hopefully you can find somewhere in here somewhere. Some help. Here we go. Search some luggage. See if they got any naughty stuff in there. <laughs> Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I'm going to put some multiplayer up too. The thing about the multiplayer is right now, I was trying to get all the achievements for this game and I finally met some guys who were willing to boost all the achievements. The only reason we boosted them was because they were impossible to achieve otherwise. You had to find people that had the DLC and then you had to set up your own game that way. Because if everyone didn't have the DLC, and most people didn't, you would never see the new maps. So we each played the map each time, we won each time. So there was, I think there were six of us, so we saw the map six times, and that's probably the last six times we'll ever see that map. Alright, this part's freaking awesome. I get to use this suit for something and breathe underwater. Hell yeah. In that suit, even the ocean cannot harm you. This is good. But rapture is the death of many great men. Alone, you will not last long. You can still reach the train station. Find me there. There's the new type of big daddy for this game. They got rocket launchers on them. Or, I guess it's more like a grenade launcher, but... You can throw them right back at him with telekinesis. But the multiplayer is it's really fun. Not a lot of people enjoy it. I take, I'll admit it took me a while to even get decent at it. But once you level up and you have all those perks and any plasmid and all the perks for your guns, I mean, you can just dominate. It's ridiculous how good I did when I reached level 50. But when I was low level, like right now, I think I'm level like five or six. But I've prestiged, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I have all the crappy guns and stuff again. But I deal with it.
Also on this game you can find atom vials laying around. And the, most of the time it's in the ocean where you find them. I don't even remember where they all are, I just found one earlier though. It's that red thing I picked up. said you would. Come upstairs to the ticket booth, and I will offer what I know of you. I'm going to try to cut the loading screens out. <clears throat> um, they're kind of, they're not like super long or anything, but they're kind of unnecessary, to say the least, so I'll just leave them out. I think it'll be easier that way. More watchable. And I'm going to try harder on this Let's Play. I finally kind of figured out the software and stuff a little better. Um, the last Let's Play I did, Bioshock 1, I kind of screwed up the sound for three of the videos, and I screwed up the video for three of the videos. So, that wasn't good. Now, most to survive are like this. Splicers. They're drug addicts. Vicious animals. We're going to get as many of these as we can carry. These things are helpful. I don't even remember what the limit is. It's probably like eight or nine. You gotta wait for it. I hate this. But the cool thing is you can just keep getting them though. Now the hacking on this is awesome. It's way easier. Alright, good deal. So now I can pick that one up. And now we can hack this thing. The blue is what you want to get into. What the blue does is give you gives you a whatever you're hacking gives you more of what you want. So pretty much this machine that I just hacked will be a little stronger and he's more defensive, I believe. But it'll help me out a lot more than he would if I just did green only. If you hit red, you have to start over. These things will be easier to get into now because I can just melee them. Instead of having to shoot it or get out my wrench, which I don't even have a wrench, I have a drill in its place, which who the hell wouldn't want a drill? That thing's awesome. I hear somebody. Did he just die? I guess my machine killed him. That's awesome. Usually, like even on the first one. You had to wait until uh, he attacked me before my robots would help me out, even the Big Daddy. So I guess he just decided he was a bad guy or whatever. That works for me. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember this, but do you recognize that? It is Sophia Lab. I saw that on the Bioshock 1 when I was playing it last time. That uh, 91 days since the last accident. I remember that specifically. You can shoot these guys, but it doesn't matter. That's why. <laughs> I don't think they can actually kill you. I did use a health pack just in case though. 